Hey guys, I'm Russell Vane, and welcome back to another part of Borderlands 2, Game of the Year Edition. Uh, where we last left off was that we started a new DLC, or another DLC, not, it's not a new DLC per se, it's just, it's another DLC, another main DLC of the game, uh, which you can get from the Game of the Year Edition, of course. Um, but yeah, that's where we last left off. We just started the Hunter's Grotto, that was the Sir... Hammerlock's DLC. Um, there's a blinker on the map that says there's a mission quest. Um, wait, didn't I pick up all the? Th oh, there's another one. Okay. I am Dietmar von Heinrich Zimmerschneid, and I search for truth. I am filming a documentary about hunting, about you. You will capture the monstrositat, while I record mine director's commentary. I have set up cages. Find them. So basically, it's King Kong. <laughs> Alright. I mean, it, it kind of sounds like King, King Kong right there. Uh, oh crap, those big thingies are back again. Uh, so I forgot the dinghies, the, the vehicles that we get to, to play with in this DLC. Which is great. I actually have never played with a dinghy before. Uh, this is... At least innovative in my sense, because this is a thing that Gearbox, uh, not Gearbox, or maybe Gearbox, I don't know. Gearbox haven't decided to put anything new-ish for like the longest longest time. I'll do, I'll do Flame this time, because last time I did Pearl Sub, it wasn't doing much anyways. Where did he go? Oh, hi buddy. Come here. So he has to be up close and personal, really. Wow. Wow. That is weird. Is that another egg? Sounds like a noise I don't like. Oh, it is. It is a noise I don't like. i grab this quickly. There's 23 eggs, for Christ's sake. Alright, well, i rather best avoid it, because my reach is not that great with the dinghy. The dinghy's reach for the freaking thing is not as great. Hi, guys! Alright. Setting you guys all on fire! Fire! Well, he's immune, right? Wait, he's not immune at all. <laughs> Alright, I gotta add on the damage. There we go. Damn it, that noise always bothers me a little bit. It's like some weird ass, like. Okay, so he's dropped the quest item. Oh no, he, there was a quest item in here. What is this? What is this? I see a blue like thingy. Oh, it's a skin. Okay, I wasn't I wasn't sure what the hell I was looking at. Uh, we don't have it yet. Cool. Oh, we have. Oh no, and the max health goes down. Okay, no, I don't want that then. All right. Cool. So far, this DLC is so doing pretty well, I think, because uh, there's some weapons I can grab for sure. But the problem with this DLC is that there isn't... Oh. Okay. No. Nothing good there. Alright, gotta get going before that thing hops and kills me. This is not where I wanted to be. There we go. Come on, burn baby! Burn baby, burn! Burn baby! There we go, there we go. Much better. Cool. Alright, so what do we want to do? I, I think the biggest problem is, like, figuring out what to do here. Because it's starting to... It's starting to bother me a little bit that I can't really figure out what I want to do. Scully's... Scully's... Scully's Grove. Okay, that's a story mission. I don't want to deal with that yet. 
Uh, go to the lair to destroy. Okay, I, I think this is the one I wanted to go to. Another quest item here. Another egg, it seems. There's so many eggs, like literally. It's like egging me on to get them. It's like, I'm so stupid. I don't know why. I don't even know why. Oh, there's another egg right there. This is like freaking Easter egg hunting rather than anything, literally. But I mean, the genesis of life, the beginning of creation itself, and yet so numb, so very, very numb. What the fudge, dude? It just makes some like weird ass noise. Whoa! What the hell is this bat? Are those like vampire bats? Oh, there is. Oh yeah, the the, the blood sucking guy. There we go. Bastard. Bastard. He died. Yep. Alright. Is this where the lair is at? Or is the lair up there again? Yeah, I think the lair might be up there. I'm quite confused on where to go with this lair. Yep, it's not here. Probably up there. Darn it. Uh, no, not the gunner seat. I, I want to get to the freaking driving seat. Give me a driver's seat. There we go. I don't get it. Like, this lair is, like, somewhere, but then it's like... You can't reach it. Alright. It's another of those guys again. Is that another egg down there? Yep, there's another egg. Because I see a blue thingy. Usually the blue lines are, like, the way, the reason why this is too easy is because there's a blue line to it. I mean, it's great that they tell you that this is a pickable object, pickable object, but the problem is just that it's too obvious here and there. Maybe we need to go in here, I guess? What is here? I wonder. What is this place? I see an egg, which is great. Man, this place is really exotic, to be honest. It's like super duper exotic. I, I commend whoever made this idea a thing, because this is great. It makes it- the, the mystery and the, the- the mystery and the- uh, what's I'm gonna call it? The mystery and the exoticness, I would say. I, I don't know. I, I'm gonna say exoticness. Mixes the mixes this place into a really fun looking DLC. Like it, it looks so great. It's like so new to me, and it's like something I have never thought would come into fruition. It, it's like you are really hunting, but you're not hunting in a particular like way in a sense, I guess. <gasps> Uh, no, come on. Uh. No, okay, okay, I can't jump over that. I thought I could. Egg. Egging me on. Let me see, is there anything else here? Like another egg? I really doubt it, but. Because usually the egg seems pretty obvious. It's just the bulk load of it. I know there is an egg in the, another area that I. Like when I first came in here, there was another egg, but. Holy crap, what is that? A Borok? Oh, so it's kind of like the combination of a spider ant and a, uh... Those, like... Oh, it is a spider ant, kind of. But it's kind of like spider ant and then fusion with, uh... Those invisible lizards, almost, maybe? Oh, not the invisible lizards. Yeah, they're pretty easy to kill, looks like. Sadly enough, they're pretty easy. Oh, there's more of you guys. Oh, there's an armor man. Lucky bastards. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, he has a rocket. He's a like he, he's like a machine gun spitter. Oh, that's that guy. Little guy has more XP than you guys. If you know that, then why do you? Uh, never mind. 
Alright, so I didn't know I was killing... I needed to kill those things. I didn't even know that. Oh, there goes another one. Miss. There we go. Reload. I know that thing over the, the, there is. There we go. It's important to them. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ah. Ugh. Grabbing that, whatever that is. I think that was a torque shotgun. Alright. So the sniper rifle is the best way to handle that, I guess. Because this sniper rifle is doing enough damage if it's hit critically onto the to those floating floating jellyfishes. I'm calling I'm calling them flo floating jellyfishes. I don't like preferring their name sometimes. All right, the lair seems to be closing in on here, right? I mean, it was on only it was like only available up here, right? No shot. Sniper rifle. Give me a sniper rifle. Where's that sniper? Oh god, not again. Get him, get him pissed. Get him pissed. He'll come after them too. So it's gonna be a fair fight for me. Alright, well. Looks like they got powered up. Oh my god. They're trying to hit you, and you're hitting me. Why? What in the name, dude? It's like a fight that's unfair for me now. <laughs> I'm just trying to avoid it as much as possible. Nope, it's still coming after me. Yep, it's still coming after me. I have to, like, hit it under. There we go. There's another one. Go that way. Ah, damn it. Where are you moving? Oh my god, it's moving away. Well, I mean, it does give me some room, some room in space. But it's moving away to the point where I can't hit the underside. Ah, son of a gun. There we go. F you. Oh no, the little guys are coming after me. Uh, there we go. Better. Man, these fights are starting to get more intense. Like, I didn't really expect myself to be in, in an intense fighting, in a constant intense fighting kind of thing. Naga Naga Shi! Oh wow, that guy has a lot of uh, EXP now. Got another one. Ow! Stop it! Freaking bats, though. Oh my god! Stop it! Oh! Got him. Want him to get out of that. Oh. Stop! Bastard! Ah. Ooh. Oh! Did I hit triple? Ooh, baby, it's a triple! Almost. <laughs> Almost. <laughs> that was so close to a triple. I really wanted to hit a triple. Oh well. Close enough, I guess. Uh. Not good enough. It has to hit like 4,000 ish, probably by this point. They're still coming out of nowhere? Oh god. Let me grab this egg. Slag! Slag! Alright, good. <laughs> it blocks me. Oh. Alright. Come on, bastard. Accuracy though. 
bad. There we go. Needs to get those shotgun ammo as much as I can. Alright. I'm gonna lead him away from the slag doctor. Because the slag doctor is gonna be incredibly difficult to fight against. Oh god. That was close. Oh no, not again! Why? So he abandons the shield after he reaches to a certain point. Oh my god. You know what? This reminds me of Bloodseeker. It really does. Where are you running? Is it because you're not in the area anymore? Oh god! Oh my god, he's gone into demon mode now. Now this is the other thing that I think was difficult to fight against. Oh wow! Next time I gotta get this guy to like level these guys up to 4. Because these guys give me more XP than anything. Those demon warriors leveled up like crazy. Like, could level up like super crazy. Sadly, the slag docks is not enough in XP. More money? Great. Dollar dollar, y'all. Where are you, doc? I'm gonna kick your ass in. Did he just disappear? Did he up and disappeared already? Oh! Son of a gun. I didn't want that in my hand. Uh, no. Don't think that's correct. There we go. How about pistol? Is there anything good with pistol? No. Uh. No. Okay. Something good. Something good. Oh, there's a duck. Nothing good so far. It looks like. Okay. Got the ammo. All right. Let's get fighting. Let's get fighting here. Oh! Oh god, slag fights. Got him. Seems pretty easy of a fight there. I thought it was gonna be more difficult. Is that a corrosive? I think it's a corrosive somewhere in time. Alright, the lair's nearby. Let's get to it. Oh, there it is. Um. Okay. You know what? I think it's more like a, uh... A slag. Yeah, it's kind of like a slag, but in combination of a spider ant. Because it opens his mouth like that. All the time. Look at that. It's so easy. It's just let him yawn and then snipe him out. <laughs> just let him yawn and snipe him out. There we go. One more. What the hell is that? Oh, it's those guys. Oh, there's slag dog right there? What is that? Oh, no, it's just Iridian kind of thing. Alright, well. There we go. Hey! Oh! Oh! Double hit! Double kill! Sweet! Hey, buddy. Got him. Alright, I better not... I gotta conserve my shotgun ammo, because it's pretty low on ammo. It's, I'm not... I don't wanna, like, go down without my shotgun. I, I don't wanna waste too much of my shotgun. And then when I have to go down and beat the living crap out of something, I might just fail hard if I don't be careful. Alright. Um, let me grab whatever's in here. At most, it's gonna be something stupid. That's not helpful enough for me. Yeah, and mostly it would be that. I'm obliged to change up to those pistols, but then they're not damage enough. They're not damage based at all. Um, but there's a lot of pistol nonetheless. They give me a lot of pistols so far. Now you have two options for luring out the human hungry Borok. You can lure a savage into the Borok's lair and summon him that way, or and injure yourself and let the scent of your blood awaken the beast. I don't know, I guess. I mean, this thing is here for some reason, out of the blue. But there's no human here at all. I killed all the human stuff right there. I might get hit from behind, so who knows. 
There we go. What do you drop? Yeah, these things are too easy now. To me, honestly, it's too easy. Even if those little thingies are hitting me. And exploding on me. Alright, now the problem is, how do I get to that then? How do, how do I get a human here then? Because I killed them all. I literally killed them. Oh, wait. Find a volunteer? I don't have a volunteer. Oh, wait. Maybe there's a person who's here who's just like, Oh, I want to die. I don't want to live anymore. Kind of thing. <laughs> I mean, that, that kind of happens sometimes. Let me go up here. Oh, wait, that's me? Oh my god, I can't do this. This is so stupid. That was so stupid. <laughs> it's just to get him out there, but then it's like I end up getting hurt instead. Okay, let's go and do that again. Am I far away? Holy crap, if I'm far away, I'm not going to be able to grab that. Yep, I'm too far. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright. Let me go and snipe it out, I guess. That's not fair. I almost, I killed myself, nearly killed myself. Just to get it to come out. And it came out. But then it's like, it was already too late because something else was coming and attacking each other and such and such. Like, the hell. I lost money for that, too. Oh, the incendiary bastard's coming in. Okay. Alright, let's go back down there before anything else happens. Uh, grabbing money. Gotta quickly go. Gotta quickly go. Go, 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 go. Oh, they're still fighting it, I think. Uh... Ow! Damn it! Stop it! I didn't even fight you at all! F you! <laughs> I'm not here to fight you, you ass! What did I do wrong? Like, what did I do wrong? What the hell did I do to piss you off? What the fudge? Because I killed your brethren, man? Come on. Oh my god. Oh my god, the are dollar, though. I would grab that Iridium dollar. Like, what the hell, dude? I was, like, not even here to fight this guy, and he's just coming out of here. He's, like, coming after me. Like, I didn't do anything wrong yet. Alright. Screw you. Come on. Ah, not enough damage. Well, at least it's getting that stupid stuff going. Alright, almost there. Get out of here, asshole. Fucking douchebag. You your last taste of human flesh, fiend. Wonderful, simply wonderful. Come on back, please. Well, I didn't do anything. They killed him for me. Oh my god. They were still doing it. Alright, I'm gonna kill them anyways. Screw you guys. Taking my kill, man. Taking my kill. Freaking slaughtered things that I wanted to kill. Freaking took my kill away, dude. Freaking that stupid incinerary crap is like freaking taking my kill too. Push me away from freaking what I needed. That was a that was a crappy. I'm not gonna say this crappy psych was, but it, it was such a crap thing. Like all that timing sucked. The Vault Hunter collects the eggs like so many marbles. But who can win this marble game of life? Or are the eggs not marbles at all, but some entirely different sphere-based metaphor? Life is uncertain. Sure. But that was so crappy, dude. That was some crappy-ass thing. I didn't even get to fight it. I wanted to fight it. I wanted to fight it alone especially, but no! The game decided to throw the freaking like big incinerary bullcrap at me. 
It's like so stupid. The timing was not even right, and I didn't even touch it or shot at it. It's like I walked under it or something. Shut your asshole. And like I walked under it, and then suddenly it's like, oh, we're gonna be threatened right now. I'm like, why? I didn't even do anything wrong. I haven't even done anything wrong there. Ow. Done. Oh my god, there's a bigger guy. Oh, the armored one's big. I see. The armored one really didn't get anywhere far. Double kill. Alright. Okay. Let's get going, I guess. But yeah. I, I wasn't I wasn't happy that the thing died without me even trying to kill it. I'm like I I, I, I don't know how much EXP it gives me. I don't even know if it's really high EXP versus the other stuff. But like literally, I really wanted to get the XP that the thing had. I didn't care if it had anything else. I just want to level up. Want to get closer to level up? No. Instead, I had to freaking fight a thing that only gave me four four measly XP. For Christ's sake, it was only four EXP. What the hell? That is such garbage. That is such a garbage thing. Aye, aye. What is this? Oh, they're also there are all assault rifles. I see. Okay. And I don't like this spawn point. The spawn point sucks. Why can't you put one like closer there? It would have been better for me because I wouldn't be angry that I wouldn't have missed any action, you know? I mean, if I jumped in without killing the incinerating thing, I think I was still I would still get three things coming at me, which is fine. But then I I didn't want it to be distracting. It becomes distracting after a certain point because he has to target one thing after another, so it becomes distracting for me. And I thought that the thing was they, they were going to uh, the monster was going to be able to be stronger than those <laughs> natives, but apparently they're not. The freaking man-eating thing was not even. Close to even uh, strong enough. Uh, sad. Is my dinghy my dinghy still here? What? <laughs> All right. Well. Um. Well, we explored one part of the land, I guess. Uh, let me go over here instead. No, I want to be driving, not gunning. Uh. Oh God, you guys are back. You guys are back. Come on, get burned, blah. No, this is not easy. Not easy. Still not easy. Alright, I'm gonna leave. Because there's too much going on there. Um but yeah, thank you guys for watching. Uh, or actually, no, no, not, we're not, well, yeah, we're gonna end soon, but not now. Um, actually, give me a second, let me do something first, I'll be right back really quick, really, really, alright, I'm back, sorry about that. Um, yeah, because my nose was getting stuffed up and I need to blow it out. Oh god, this thing's gonna come after me. What are you doing? Oh, wow. Nah, no, that's a lot of XP right there. But I, I'm too fearful to fight it because it's like... Oh god. Because there's too much ammo necessary to beat it. Yeah, there's too much ammo ex that expends itself to just killing that thing. Alright, cool. Alright, so let's turn this mission in. I'm thinking about ending the episode here, and that's the thing. But, of course, I don't want to end it because there's still a lot more things to do in this DLC. Like, there's so much stuff to do in this DLC. It's like, non-stop almost. But then again, some of them are small, like this one with that where I got pissed off over. It's like, it was so small. It's like, I didn't even get a chance to do that myself. Oh, I had to talk to Sir Hamelock myself. All right, well. Hamelock, I got your stuff. Boom. Well done, well done. Cool. No additional mi uh, missions from him, so that's okay. Uh, what's next? We didn't level up yet. I'm still trying to aim for the level up. Redeem token. Oh, sorry. Uh, maximum health. Why not? Let's see. What else we got? 
We got the cages, and we got the uh, rare fighting thingy. Two-legged drifters. Didn't I just saw one? A tail of scallions. Pink borax. Borax. Albino skags. Slagged spores. Yeah, I haven't seen a slagged spore before. That is kind of rare to me. In my mind, it's kind of rare. Um, egg in the face. I really, I think I will do this. These two are kind of like side activities that you can't really get to unless you can find them. Like the rare, the rare beast one is kind of the harder one, I think. The egg ones are just easier, but it's just, it takes more time to like kind of invest in looking for it. Um, not saying the eggs are difficult or not, uh, but yeah. Oh yeah, okay, so I also forgot about this. I mentioned this in a little bit of time ago when I had a, uh, like maybe very early on, when one of my friends DM'd me on Twitter about uh, Borderlands 2 stuff, and he was mentioning how, he was mentioning how, uh, how there was something else involved here that was like the digit, the Digistruck, the peak of Digistruck. I forgot about that because I was looking it up before and I forgot what it was. Oh, there's the two-legged thing. Yes, come back here. Come back here, you bastard. Come back here. Set the world on fire. Yes. Set the world on fire. There we go. That's another two. Uh, I accidentally got out in the wrong time because... Alright, there we go. Now I can get out. Not timing, but in the wrong place. I know the thing is coming after me, probably. Giant explosive. Okay, that's that's fine. I don't I don't I don't want to deal with that. Screw that thing. I don't want to fight explosives. That's harder to beat than anything. Right, let me go over here. Ow! My bad. Oh, there's an egg. I didn't see that egg. I totally did not see that egg. Now I wanted to come back here so I can grab the egg from the inside the cave. I want to grab the inside from the cave thing. There we go. That's 14. Alright. Yeah, the eggs are just going to be the ones that take the longest time for me, I think. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you guys haven't. Hope to see you guys in the next part of Nobody Minds. And hope you guys have a great, amazing day. We can night when watching this. Um, I decided to end it here now because... I'm just collecting eggs as much as I can right now. And I'm not doing the main... Or I'm not doing a side mission stuff. But it looks like the cages are in here, so... That'll be another thing as well to get to. Um, yeah. So anyways, yeah. In the next part, we'll continue on to get to the cages. I didn't realize I was going in the right position or right place. I'm scared that the eggs here might be... Uh, no, not the eggs here. The uh, fighting here might be ridiculous. Nothing. Got it. Alright. Okay. Oh yeah, that's where I spawned in. Yep, yep, yep. And then there was like beasts or monsters that were here, I think, blocking my way. Can't recall. Uh... I think it's underground. I don't think it's up here. There we go. And in here there would be an egg and I'll pick that up and I'll end the episode after that. And here's the egg. There we go. Alright, so that's it for me in this part. So in the next part we will continue on this cage side quest and then after the cage side quest we're going into the main mission and then doing the main mission of course. Uh, however far we can get to that in the next episode, if we can. Um, yeah, so that's most likely it. So, Roz, out. <laughs>